The coastal dairy regions of New South Wales' mid-north coast are a problematic combination of flat, low-lying paddocks and intensive rainfall events, typically in March to April, leads to pasture production losses both short and longer term. These rainfall periods coincide with sowing of ryegrass and 150 to 300 mm falls within a short period cause water logging with leaching and denitrification of available nitrogen having flow-on impacts to the establishment and early daily growth rates of the winter ryegrass. The Neal brothers, Pat and James, dairy farm in the region on Oxley Island. Their adjacent farms are situated in the delta of the Manning River, where tidal influences also add to their flooding vulnerabilities. Over the past 10 years, the brothers have implemented precision laser graded hump and hollow drainage systems breaking from traditional deeper, narrower drainage design to parallel, shallow, wider hollows. During installation, this process avoids the disturbance of underlying acid sulphate soils, and during drier times, the hollows are available to the cows to graze. The strategy has resulted in greater ease of paddock management after high rainfall, with water able to shed rapidly, and it also has resulted in increased nitrogen use efficiency continuing to upgrade and maintain this system through the support of the Clean Coastal Catchments project. Pat and then brother James will explain. Our biggest issue here on the coast is water logging and high rainfall events. Um, we've just gone through 170 mils in two days and there's water on all the paddocks. And the issue was we had a lot of pugging, a lot of water logging, unable to use machinery, able, unable to get um, cows on paddock with pugging and so We've come up with a, a way which has developed in Tasmania of hollowing and humping. So in this paddock we've got, uh, a, it's pretty flat down here, so the drains uh, run parallel to each other and they're about 30 metres apart. Um, we've put a laser on them to make sure that they drain freely and with the slope in this paddock's 20 centimetres in 100 metres. Um, the dirt that's come out of the drain was put in the centre so that it sheds both ways. That way, like, the water's off within a couple of hours of the rainfall event and is able to dry. So all that excess water that's come down has just run off and then we're able to put the fertiliser on, put the cows on, do whatever we need to do um, within that short time of like two days. Because we're able to get onto the paddocks whenever we need, even after high rainfall events, we can um, manage our urea application. So if a week out we know we're gonna get 100 plus mils, we'll not apply fertilizer because we know we're just gonna lose it all. So we'll wait till after the event, after the soil's dried out and we can get our machinery on and then we'll apply the fertilizer then. That way we haven't lost the uh, urea. We're in a high rainfall environment and we get these huge rainfall events like Last year we had a couple of events of 300 millimetres and that creates huge challenges on being able to get on to paddocks quickly. Now to um, improve the trafficability, what we've done is we've done a lot of drainage to quickly get the water off the paddocks so that then the cows can get onto those paddocks sooner. We've put this in with a laser um, grader and so basically the depths, we've minimised the amount of dirt we've taken out of the drain and made sure they're able to drain and there's no big ponding areas either. That way, because we're on an acid sulphate soil area, we've minimised any um, disturbing of those acid sulphate soils and consequently um, that keeps, um, from an environmental perspective, keeps everything good. And you can see behind us is one of the drains, so it gets all the water into the drain and then the area next to it is all good to be able to traffic. And this has huge implications because if you can't uh, get onto those paddocks quickly, obviously they say waterlogged and the pastures really struggle to grow and then you've got decreased pasture production. By allowing this, it doesn't get pugged up and you don't have that kind of damage as well. And so the drains are very effective at getting the water off quick because the land around here on our particular farm where we're standing is only 0.5 AHD and so consequently that has huge 
issues when you get a flood. So you want that water as gone as soon as you can and drainage is so crucial to be able to achieve that. And the other advantages of having that, being able to get that water off quickly off your main area of your farm is that you don't um, lose a lot of um, nitrogen from denitrification because clearly if the soil stays waterlogged for a long time then you're going to leach a lot of that nitrogen in the soil and then obviously then you're going to need to replace that with large amounts of nitrogen to bring up the, the soil nitrogen levels so that you get good responses for your pastures.